Welcome back to Dog Informations, guys. Our first information is going to be Ariel Watt on her human version. This is the dress she wears when she meets Eric. Today's video is inspired by one of our favorite Disney movies, The Little Mermaid. For Ariel, we're going to use this cool doll and we'll use this other clothes for her outfit. Ariel wears a beautiful big bow on her hair, so we use this big bow for our LL doll. Our LL doll has the size of her hair shape, so we're going to use air dry clay on both sides of her head to add a little bit of volume and to try to even out the hair of our doll. We'll extend the clay with our fingers and we'll use a stick to make it smooth. Once the clay is dry, we're going to use foam to start modeling Ariel's long hair. We're adding the foam on top of the clay and little by little, we'll form her super long hair. We'll finish modeling the shape of Ariel's hair. Now with a modeling stick, we're going to mark lines on the hair. This is to create hair strands and adding texture to the hair of our doll. Let's start working on Ariel's outfit. First, we're going to cut the little slips of the LL doll dress. Now we're using a beautiful royal blue color to paint this top part of the dress. We're painting all the top area of the dress from the waist up. We're using a much lighter shade of blue to paint the bottom part of the skirt of the dress. This yellow dress has kind of like ruffles in the skirt and this will give an extra touch to the final outfit. One of the signature traits of Ariel is her red hair. Ariel, Merida and Anna are the only redhead Disney princesses. We're applying this very bright red paint all over the hair of our LOL doll. Now we're using the shade of blue to paint the big bow Ariel has on her hair. We're being very careful to not to stain her red hair with blue paint. Ariel has a long sleeve shirt under her blue dress. So to create this part of her clothes, we're using white to paint directly on the body of the door from her waist up. And we'll also paint her arms to simulate the sleeves of the shirt. We pick these oval flat shoes for Ariel to wear. We're going to paint them with the same royal blue color that we used to paint the top part of the dress. The color of the eyes of our LL doll is very similar to the original eye color of Ariel. The only thing that we'll do for her eyes is to apply a coat of clear polish to make the eyes of our LL doll look brighter. With our first transformation, our LL surprise doll looks amazing as Ariel. The clothes of our doll look almost exactly as the dress Ariel looks when she becomes human. She looks super pretty. For the second transformation, we're going to use this LL doll and we'll costume her as Prince Eric. We picked these LL boots that are going to be perfect for him, and the little shirt also, but we have to make the sleeves longer. And for his pants, we'll use air dry clay. Let's get started. The first step will be removing the little picture our doll has on the back of her head and then we'll put tape over the hole. Now we're going to use air dry clay to cover most of the original hair of the doll, but the bangs. We will use the bangs of the doll as part of Eric's hairstyle. Once we finish adding all the clay, we'll start modeling and we'll use a stick to work on the details. Next, we're going to put clay on the legs of our doll. We're going to extend the clay with our fingertips to cover the front and the back of the legs and then we'll form the shape of the pants. We're trying to not to cover the parts where the boots are going to go. We're using this modeling tool to mark around the waist of the doll on the clay, the sash or waist waistband that Eric has. We're using a little bit more of clay to cover the arms of our little doll. We'll model the clay to form the long sleeves of Eric's shirt. For the boots that is going to be wearing, the only thing that we'll do is painting them completely black. The clay we use to model Eric's hair is drying now, so we're going to apply black paint all over the hair of our doll. To make our LL doll look more masculine, we're going to erase all the little details and make her look like a girl. We're using a cotton swab and nail polish remover for this step. We're erasing the lipstick, the eyelashes, the blush and also the eyebrows. Now we're using royal blue color to paint the pants of Eric. We're making sure not to paint the area where his waistband goes. We're painting now the shirt of Eric with white color. We'll probably have to apply two coats to cover completely the design of the LL shirt, 
and to also even out the color of the cake with the shirt. With a thin brush, we're applying bright red color on the waistband area or the chest. To make it seem like his shirt is unbuttoned on the top, we're going to use this light beige color to draw a B right under the neck of our doll. With a super light shade of blue, we're going to outline the shape of the color of Eric's shirt. We're using a very thin brush to do this step on both sides. To make Eric's eyes look super shiny, we're going to apply a coat of clear polish and we'll use black paint to draw his little eyebrows. Or a little doll looks super cute costume as Eric. He looks so adorable, don't you think? We can make a video of the little mermaid without transforming one of our dear LL dolls into the villain of the movie, Ursula. We're going to use this LL doll and we pick this dress that we're going to use as base to model the tentacles. Let's start by removing all the clothes. Next we're going to cut all the little hair bones of our LL doll using these scissors. To model the hair of Ursula, we're using a big chunk of foam so we can cover all the original hair of our doll and when we do that, we're going to form the shape of it. For Ursula's clothes, instead of using the yellow dress that our doll was wearing, we decided to model it with foam. We're using a lot of foam to cover all the body of our doll, from right below her chest all the way down to her feet. We form kind of like the shape of a dress and we'll model the tentacles at the bottom. Our dear Ursula has purple color skin. We're going to use this shade of purple to paint her face and her little arms too. This is how the octopus dress is looking so far. Now we're using black color to paint it all. We're being very patient so we can paint all the little corners in the dress. The foam we used to model Ursula's hair is drying, so now we can paint it. We mix white and gray paint to have this shade of light gray color and we're going to apply it all over the hair of Ursula. We added a little bit of glue to her hair to make it look much better. Now we're applying a coat of clear polish on both eyes to make Ursula's eyes shinier. And we finally draw her thin eyebrows. Ta-da! This is how Evil Doll looks after we turn her into Ursula. I can't believe how amazing she actually looks. Ursula is one of our favorite Disney villains, and her soul, Four Unfortunate Souls, is such a classic Disney song. It's time for our final transformation. We picked this LOL doll to turn her into the Little Mermaid. This time we won't use any LOL accessory. We'll start from scratch to make the mermaid tail. And of course, we'll also model her hair and add all the details we can think of. We'll start modeling Ariel's hair. We're going to use a big chunk to cover all the hair of our doll, and then we'll form the shape of Ariel's long hair. We used a modeling stick to work on the details on the hair. Now we're using this bright red color to paint all the hair. It's time to work on her mermaid tail. With a big chunk of clay, we're going to cover the legs of our doll all the way to her feet. We're wrapping them completely and then, little by little, we start forming the shape of the tail. We finished modeling the mermaid tail and now we're working on her seashell bra. We put a little bit more of clay on her chest and we form the shape of her bra. Now, with a modeling tool, we're creating the texture of the shells. Time to paint! We're going to use this beautiful shade of green to paint the tail of Ariel. To create this shade of color, we mix light blue and dark green color. Now we're going to use the shade of blue to paint the fin of the tail and also the area that's around her waist. Next, we're going to use this lilac color to paint all her seashell bra. Finally, for Ariel, we're going to apply clear polish on the eyes of our elder doll to make them shinier. And we'll also use clear polish on the fin of her mermaid tail. And voila! We finished with this transformation! Ariel in her mermaid version. Our elder doll looks super adorable. She looks super pretty and cute. Ready guys, this is the final look of our LL Surprise dolls transformed into some of our favorite characters from the classic Disney movie The Little Mermaid. Here from right to left is Ursula, Eric, Ariel as a little mermaid and Ariel as a human. I love this outfit, it's the dress Ariel wears when she goes out and spends the day with Prince Eric. 
Leave in the comments below if you like this transformation from the Little Mermaid and which one was your favorite. Remember to give us a like, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for notifications. See you in our next video here in Toy Transformations. Thanks for watching guys, we love you, bye!